Does it? Um, how do I put this? Um, I don't know. All right. So the darkness. I can see that the darkness is like non-conflicting. You know, when a person's in the cave, living his whole life in the cave, and you tell that, and that the person finally finds a hole out of the cave, and when he comes into that light, that light is gonna be so bright and shining that he's gonna be like, ah, he's gonna draw back and go back into the darkness. And I understand, living in sin is comfortable. But living in sin is not going to give you eternal life. Living in sin is not going to give you peace for your mind. Living in sin is just going to keep you in the dark. But I'm here to be a light of the world. To be salt and light. And telling you that Jesus is the way. The only way. The truth, the way, and the life. Jesus being the bread of life. Eat from Him. Draw to Him. Get close to it. It might hurt. It will hurt because you are gonna have to. You're gonna have to sacrifice your whole life, pretty much. You're gonna have to drop everything you do and just follow Him. It says that you must pick up your cross and follow Him. And what does picking up your cross and following Him is? Denying yourself, denying everything about you, denying who you are, what you are, and what you did, denying all of that and following Him. And it's gonna hurt. It's gonna. It's going to be a, very painful. But guess what? The pain is gain. Because Jesus took the ultimate pain for us to gain. That's why we are born again. Woohoo! Hallelujah! And you can have this life today simply by believing what Jesus did on the cross 2,022 years ago. Not only did he die for the forgiveness of your sins, but he rose again. He rose again so you can have life and life more abundantly.